What up, YouTube, man? Hey, it's your boy, ENC. We're back for another day of short reactions. Uh, we take, like, if you, don't know the, if you don't know how this goes yet, we take a look at three shorts every time. We try and get every day. Just going over some of the most random YouTube videos I have on the internet. I don't know what's going to pop up. It can be anything from news to all the way to something funny as shit to something just fucking stupid as hell. So we're going to take a look at these. I it, I don't know what's going to pop up, to be honest with you. But uh, the first thing we're looking at today is what Ukraine will do after the war. I'm not surprised we're getting a lot of the Ukrainian shorts. This is like the second one out of the three days we've been doing it. With everything going on with the, with the world with Ukraine, this is why we're getting all the Ukraine shorts. So let's go and check this one out. This is how two... Here's what Ukraine will do after the war. There are two probable scenarios for Ukraine's future depending on how the next few months of the war play out. I'm going to guess. One, they're going to either keep the terror, they're going to accept the loss of territory that they, for the, Rus the Russians took, which uh, is probably the right, so they ain't going to do that. Or, two, they're going to get everything back, <laughs> and they're going to join NATO. They're probably going to join NATO. I guarantee they're probably going to join NATO after this bullshit, because Russia fucked them over completely. Now they really don't fucking trust Russia. That's why Sweden and Finland did the exact same goddamn thing. Russia, you fuck yourself, but let, let's keep going. If Russia succeeds in placing pressure on the Ukrainian military, President Zelensky will either surrender or fight Russia to a slowly losing standstill. It's also possible that Zelensky will be able to negotiate peace with special conditions with Russia. This will likely mean that Ukraine will give up much of its territory in the Donbass region. That's what I just said. They're going to either concede just give it up and be done with the war. And in which I is largely it. under Russian control today and give up its strategic ports along the Sea of Azov. Yeah. The other possible scenario for Ukraine is a total military defeat of Russia I, and the ex- Bruh, I should, I, why, I should be doing this right now. I just said the exact, you got 27,000 likes for something I just said and shorter, shorter than you did. Really? <laughs> that is bullshit. Cause I ain't even gonna get a thousand likes. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna get a hundred likes in this video. And this dude got twenty seven k. And I said the same. Man, that's tough. Portion <laughs> of Russian invading forces back to the breakaway regions of Luhansk and Donetsk. Whatever path Ukraine's future takes, it will certainly take years, if not decades, to recover from this war. Yeah, because Russia fucked everything up. Well, there you go. What will Ukraine do after this war? I I called it, which is kind of, again, I'm not getting that because that pissed me off, kind of, because I ain't going to get anywhere near as many likes as this man had. I can't even ask for that, man. I don't even got that many friends on Facebook. I don't even know half the number of people on the internet. <laughs> so the fact he got that, I'm going to stop bitching. But that was the first one right there, what Ukraine will do after the war. Let's go and check the next short. This is how two. So this is the B-2 Spirit Bomber in action. Yeah. This is how a 2.1 billion dollar B2 Spirit goes on a bombing run, and just how much not these standing still. This is how a 2.1 billion dollar B. Why is that running? B2 Spirit goes on a bombing run. Oh, we're gonna play this stupid game again. All right, hold up. We're gonna refresh this. I want to watch the video. We ain't just gonna listen to it. Talk. All right. Excuse me. This is how a 2.1 billion dollar B2 Spirit goes on a bombing run, and just how much these bombs cost. The B2 Spirit's unique shape and the classified composite materials and coatings it is manufactured with allow it to evade enemy radar and air defense systems to deliver its pricey payload on high-value targets. Man, think about that. You can't see this motherfucker coming. Think about it. You don't know when it's coming. Even if you know when it's coming, you can't see it coming. <laughs> You're screwed. <laughs> you're gonna die. Like, you're gonna die. If this motherfucker's coming, this is a problem. The payload can include oh, the Mark 82 500 pound unguided bomb, which cost $4,000 a piece. 4000 That's actually kind of cheap. What the hell? Not for me, obviously, but it's kind of cheap. I'm spilling shit. I'm sorry. It's kind of cheap for them because they can afford all that. The military can afford that. Four thousand dollars for a bomb—that's that's not bad. That's not a lot for them. Yes, yeah, that's, that's rent for some people. CBU eighty-seven cluster bombs, which cost around fourteen thousand dollars. See, big difference. Four thousand. Now, now you're getting up into the fuck you money at that point per bomb. Now, nah, fuck off. That tells me it. If you were killing one person, you drop one of those. Even if you kill ten people, you drop one of those. You're telling me those ten people are worth fourteen thousand dollars. That's insane. GPS guided Jade ammunitions that come in at twelve thousand dollars a piece. Ooh. GBU twenty eight bunker busters, which are slightly more expensive, at one hundred and forty five. Bro, that's not slightly. That is more than tri triple. <laughs> 
one GBU-28 bunker bus and bomb is 145 grand. It brings a whole new meaning to high value targets. Because there's no way in fucking... Bruh, you should feel honored if you get bombed by the U.S. You should feel honored to have one of these bombs. Since you means they thought you were worth $145,000. I'd be honored. Hell yeah. Thousand dollars each. I'd be dead, but you get my point. The J sound glide bombs, which can cost as much as seven hundred and twenty thousand dollars. So fuck those other bombs. You got a, you got a million dollar bomb, basically. Bruh, I don't even know, man. What? I'm just glad I'm in a country that can afford to drop these motherfuckers. If you think about think about it, the U.S. was in what uh, was fighting like Iraq and Afghanistan and all that for two decades. They've been dropping these things like it's nothing. <laughs> And the JASSM air launched cruise missile. Oh, of course, you'll need more expensive. <laughs> Basically, they say one, you can't see this plane, two, you don't even know it's coming, three, and if you can't see it, you ain't hitting it, and four, it's going to kill you with something as cheap as $4,000 up to a million dollars. In that point, it's just determine how much you're worth. Each of which will run you $800,000. It can also deliver the B-83 and B-61 nuclear bombs, which are nearly $5 million each. See, bro, that's just, that's just, I get, actually, I can understand why a nuclear bomb is that much, because that takes a, yeah, that's a whole new level of, yeah. This is how. But yeah, there you go, there's the B-2 spirit, uh, the plane, basic model story is, you're fucked. <laughs> as I can say, you're expensively fucked. Last one. All right, so we got another Ukraine one. Now, again, this is not a surprise. Ukraine and the B-2 are not surprised. Hold up. So, basically, it's a video showing Ukrainian Army, the Air, Ukrainian Air Force is attacking the Russian Army position. You know, I don't know if anyone died. I don't know if they got their, what their objective, but you can't explode in the background. You can see the plane flying across. You know, that is it. So there you go. This is an easy one today. We had two Ukrainian ones and one American uh, B-2. That's basically an expensive way of killing you. Uh, but let me know what y'all thought, uh, which video you liked the most. Drop the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that noti bell. And uh, besides that... We're going to keep doing what we're doing, you know, reacting and yeah, I love y'all.